Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So in this video, we are going to solve another question from the MSQ section that is multiple select question. The question is we have to identify which of the molecule or molecules are chiral. These are the four options that are given. So let us first try to recap what is the condition for a compound to be chiral. Condition for the chirality is the elements of symmetry must be absent like plane of symmetry. Okay, plane of symmetry is one of the element of symmetry that must be absent. Okay, elements of symmetry like plane of symmetry or inversion center. It is also called as center of inversion or inversion center. Okay, or plane of symmetry. Both these elements of symmetry must be absent. Okay, very important. Okay, if any of the element of symmetry is present, then the molecule will be uh, then the molecule will be achiral or optically inactive. For a compound to be chiral or we can say optically active. Okay, both these elements of symmetry must be absent. Okay, so now let us see one by one all the molecules. The first one is this option A. These are what? These are compounds. These are spiro compounds. Okay, where two rings are attached at a single point of attachment that is at one single carbon. Here you can see two four membered rings are attached at single carbon this point. So these are similar to alenes. Okay, alenes is this system. This is we will see in option four they have given. What happens here is two groups on one side of the uh, alene system. They are in plane. Okay, they are in one plane. Okay, suppose they are present in this plane. Then the groups on the other side, okay, at the other end, they will be perpendicular to the first plane. Okay, if this is like this, the other plane is going to be exactly perpendicular or at an angle of 90 degree. Okay, so if you see or observe this molecule from this side, let's say this is A, B, C and D, how it will look? A is above, B is below. Okay, C is C will be at the left. Okay, we are seeing from the as uh, viewing from this green arrow. Okay, C will be on the left and D will be on the right. So in this way you can see there are four different groups. Okay, alene system. Over there is no chiral center as such, but overall molecule is chiral. Similarly, in spiro systems also. You can see there are, this is one group, two group. Okay, two groups on one side should not be same. That is a condition. A, A should not be equal to B and another condition is C should not be equal to D. Okay, so here you can see if I see again from this left side what I will get to see. Above there is this alkene. Then below there will be this CH2 group and into the plane that is this dash bond here again we have double bond so that will be on the left and here we have this ch2 that will be on the right so this is what this is chiral now let us see the second one option b option b now if you try to draw the plane of symmetry suppose i draw this plane of symmetry okay here above the plane there is cl and here below the plane there is cl here above the plane there will be what hydrogen above the plane Cl, above the plane hydrogen. So this is not a mirror plane. The plane of symmetry is absent. So suppose you mark that this is chiral. So is it, is it going to be chiral? The answer is no. Let us try to draw another plane of symmetry. Suppose I draw this one. Okay, I draw this as a plane of symmetry. Is this a plane of symmetry? No. Again here above the plane there is hydrogen, but here on the opposite side we have methyl. Okay, below the plane here there is methyl. And here below the plane there is hydrogen. So it is not a mirror plane. So plane of symmetry is absent. So suppose you mark this is as chiral. Is this chiral? The answer is no. If you have marked answer B, your answer will be incorrect. Now let us see why. Okay, so if I draw the 3D structure, okay, not the wedge dash. Okay, suppose I draw like this. This is a cyclobutane ring. Okay, this carbon. Cl is above and below there is nothing means there is hydrogen. 
okay now this carbon uh, above the plane there is methyl and below the plane there will be hydrogen now this carbon above the plane there is nothing means there is hydrogen and below the plane there is cl here what is the here above the plane there is hydrogen below the plane there is methyl so now if you see plane of symmetry is not present but i discussed that there is another element of symmetry that also you have to check so at the center of this molecule we consider this point okay now if i go above here i get cl if i go exactly opposite 180 degree here also again i get cl now suppose if i go below here i get hydrogen okay and if i go exactly above 180 degree again i get hydrogen okay now let us check for the other groups okay let me erase this okay now let us check for the other groups here if i go above i get methyl exactly opposite again i get methyl now if i go below here i will get hydrogen and exactly opposite 180 degree here i get the same groups so on exactly opposite side for the entire molecule the groups are same on opposite side so we can say inversion center is present okay inversion center is present so this is what this is a a chiral molecule okay this is not chiral so option b is incorrect option c now in this molecule if you draw this plane okay this plane and you say here there is co2h and here there is methyl and you say this is chiral again this is also going to be incorrect why because there is not only this plane but i can draw another plane okay a plane like this plane cutting methyl methyl you can consider as one sphere carboxylic acid as another sphere so both will be cut into half so this is what here you can see there is two methyl groups here also ch2 ch2 so this is what plane of symmetry is present so this is what this is a chiral so this is also incorrect because the question is which is chiral molecule so c is also incorrect and now the last one is aline system which we discussed just now okay this, what is the meaning of this dot dot means here there is one carbon okay and now this methyl and chlorine are in one one plane and this on the other hand these methyl and chlorine are on the perpendicular plane so we can say they are perpendicular to each other or we can say they are present in orthogonal planes orthogonal means perpendicular to each other and the condition is a should not be equal to b so methyl and chlorine they are different on the on the other side also methyl and chlorine they are different okay so this is what this is going to be chiral so which are which are the correct answers the correct answers are option a and option d okay so the final answer is option a and d if you mark b as an extra option your you will not get the credit if you mark c as an extra option you will not get the credit if you mark all a b c d again it will be incorrect okay only correct options are a and d i hope you have understood the solution thank you